Here's your Grill It Gourmet Extra. We've grilled mango to go on top of this juicy chicken and let me show you how to make friends with this tropical fruit. Just carefully slice down the flat sides, cutting as close to the seed as possible, both sides. Now to get the fruit out, watch this. Slice the flesh of each mango side into a checkerboard pattern, but be extra careful of course. If you'd like, you can place a dish towel on your hand until you get the hang of this. Then. Push the inside out until the little cubes of mango pop out and you can push them or simply slice them off right onto a sheet of heavy duty foil. Next up, we'll chop some fresh mint up to get it ready. Mmm, man does this smell good. Drizzle with honey or you can sprinkle with brown sugar if you'd prefer. The chopped mint goes right on top, as little or as much as you want depending on how strong you'd like the flavor. Now let's bring up the sides and fold them down nice and tight. Then fold over the ends and place this packet on the grill rack until warm. I'd say about four minutes per side. And don't overdo it because these sugars can burn on you. We just want everything to warm up so that those flavors jump right out. Put this on top of vanilla ice cream, that's sinful, but today we're placing it on top of our Jamaican jerk chicken. I've chopped up some more mint. Not only is this a treat for the eyes and for the nose, the taste is exquisite. You could even thinly slice up some orange pieces and place those around here and there. And the crowning touch, there comes the mint. Now it's your turn. Invite your friends over, grab your apron, and go ahead. It's time to get started so you can grill it gourmet today.